and welcome to the Ling Lizard today. I thought I'd talk about coronavirus, how we are dealing with it over here currently, um, my thoughts on it are, what things I'm purchasing, if anything. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. So currently in the UK, it is all kicking off, it's all, you know, there's, the levels are going up and everything else, it's worrying. I won't lie, I am very concerned, I'm very concerned about the world. <laughs> I'm very concerned about all the people that have died in Italy and in China it, and everywhere else where there's been any deaths. It is tragic, absolutely horrible and my thoughts and sympathies go out to everybody who has been affected by it because it is just horrible. I've I've seen the spectrum of people, so panicking people, as in throwing everything in their trolley people, their shopping cart people, to the people that are doing memes and laughing about it and telling people not to overreact and everything else. Um, I would say that I'm sort of in the middle of those. Um, I'm not overly concerned about our health or anything along those lines because we're all fit and healthy. Um, no pre-existing conditions, obviously we're not older. Um, so none of those things concern me for, for my own personal family, but I'm very concerned about other people, how they're going to deal with it and how they're going, are they going to receive the care that they need? Um, in our country, it was on the news this morning, there's only 5,000 ventilators. Um, and it didn't specify whether those ventilators were currently in use or if that was 5,000 clear. I'm guessing part of them are in use. Um, and population of 70 million? That's not good odds. So that terrifies me of people that might need a ventilator, they're not being available. They are putting a call out to all companies who manufacture ventilators or who could start to manufacture ventilators to step up the pace and start mass producing them. I really, really hope that they do. But the whole world wants ventilators. So again, that, that's really scary. And I'm not making this video to scare people, but I'm just wanting to, um, express my thoughts and opinions on it because it is frightening and um you know it's the unknown it's a completely new virus but for most people they should be absolutely fine um and that's a positive huge huge positive so i would keep that in top of your utmost thoughts that you, you are completely likely to be absolutely fine but there are a number of people that may not well be and those are the people that worry me, how they're going to cope, um, how they're going to self-isolate. Um, and then just day-to-day -day functions is, what, is what's worrying me the most, I would say. So how things are going to run um, in terms of food. We, I've already noticed a huge, huge, huge impact um, on food and delivery slots for shopping, online groceries. Um, supermarket shelves being completely empty and I've, I'll show you the things I've bought in a second um it's just people are going crazy and I can understand the panic they think ah oh, I need to get all the things because I've got to protect my family I completely understand that your family is your number one priority as is mine but at the same time if you normally buy two of one of something and that lasts you a couple of weeks why are you buying of them I mean it's just little things like that I think we can all rein ourselves back in um, and just be more realistic and just think okay if I buy two of these do I really need 20 and that would massively help particularly for those people who are self-isolating so they're stuck at home they can't get a delivery slot because they're all full with everyone panic buying um, you're expecting them to do the right thing and stay home self-isolation stay home so they don't infect you but then don't take all the food so they can't, <laughs> so that they have to go out and search 20 supermarkets to find the thing they're looking for. So it's common sense really, uh, I'm not here to lecture you, but that's just one of my thoughts about the whole thing is you're asking people to self-isolate to do the right thing to protect you and your loved ones, but then if you're taking all the food and booking all the, the delivery slots when you can go out, then, you know, <laughs> you've got to protect your fellow man at the end of the day my fellow man and the woman and child um you know it's not yes your family is your own priority but you want them to do the right thing by you too so don't buy 20 of one thing that you only need two of that's just my thoughts on it but how it's affecting us and what i've bought so far so if you remember from my december homeschool update we were all really sick in december with really really bad colds my daughter had it the worst she had terrible terrible cough um and 
uh, we were completely out of cough medicine. Now, no one has been sick since. My husband was started with a cold about two weeks ago, but he's completely fine now. My daughter and I uh, have a few cold symptoms, you know, usual things, sneezing um, and everything else. So I did want to uh, get a few, uh, a little, some medicine, just in case, not for this, because we don't take it for colds, but f not, not for this cold, because it's nothing, but in December we did. So we were completely out, but with the coronavirus, I did want to get um, a couple of things. But I didn't buy millions of them. I bought one. <laughs> now, this is just Calpol paracetamol, which is uh, liquid paracetamol with like gold dust. I searched everywhere for about two weeks before I was able to find Calpol paracetamol, which is insane. Why, 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 why are people buying tons and tons of this when you can only take a certain amount each day? This bottle will last a while. Even if you've got multiple kids, two bottles, that should be more than enough. The whole coronavirus should last seven days if you do get it. So why on earth are people buying 20 bottles of these? It's just crazy. So yeah, one bottle of paracetamol. Um, I did also buy one bottle of ibuprofen, not to take at the same time. Um, because as I said, we didn't have any. So I bought one bottle of, of paracetamol, one bottle of ibuprofen, because from our really bad cold in December, she did use them. And then one bottle of children's uh, cough medicine this is just it's just cough syrup it's you know it's there's nothing in it i don't buy the like the mucusy one um because it can cause side effects and it's the decongestant basically i do not buy that for her um because it can cause side effects um and often those will out will you know will take away the benefit of it completely so i just get the little cough syrup which you know just lines the throat a little bit so you know if you're coughing a lot so that's the one I get for her. Um, so this is children's dry cough and sore throat syrup. So just, that's all I bought um, for my daughter. Um, one of each, because as I said, you can only take so much. So for example, if you were taking your ibuprofen for her age, she could take five mils, so that's one spoon, three to four times a day. The most she's ever, ever usually has ibuprofen is twice a day. So this would last so say for example if it was coronavirus and she had a you know a fever and we upped, upped it to three this five one spoon of this bottle would last this is a 100 ml bottle this is gonna last a while so one bottle with the cowpaw uh, paracetamol again it's for her age it's five mils um so again this is another 100 gram uh, sorry not 100 gram 80 ml bottle so this would last a while as well and um for the cough medicine it is two spoons i think for her age let's check yes two spoons two five mil spoons and this is 125 mil bottle so again maximum seven days usually so that should be more than enough and currently from what we know people don't usually get it and then immediately get it again so i think that should be more than enough that should cover absolutely fine so think about that when you're buying your 20 bottles and you know do you really need it okay for adults two packs of paracetamol this was impossible to find adult paracetamol um the, the cheap version uh, was really difficult to find they had the the really expensive version but not the cheap version so i just got um two packs it does have 16 tablets in each so it's one or two tap tablets a day um you can take it up to four times a day i don't think i have ever in my entire life taken paracetamol four times a day so again this should be okay but i probably might get one more pack just to be on the safe side i don't have any adult cough medicine yet um because adult cough medicine tends to be mucus related and you know, decongestant and from what i understand of the virus um it's not that at all there's no mucus involved usually um so i don't know whether that would be actually worth taking at all so i don't know if i'm actually gonna get any adult cough medicine what i probably will do is just get a pot of honey um and you know a bag of lemons and mix a honey lemon drink and i think that would be actually more helpful for an adult with the cough potentially but and then the final thing that i did buy medicine wise is a pack of strep cells. again these were all because we didn't have any um literally any because we all used it in december um so i get strep cells because i have no tonsils so i always find <clears throat> especially with colds and things it always goes to my throat so because i do have a cold that's why i bought the strep cells. but this is a the 36 pack so there's no way i'll use them for this whole cold so there will be some quite a considerable amount left over if anyone wants them um you know if they have got a sulfur these are the honey and lemon ones so that's everything medicine wise that i bought i didn't go crazy at all um i might get one more pack of paracetamol just in case because as i said 
um, it's two tablets up to four times a day so if you if you were to take the maximum four times a day you could probably do and there were two adults you could probably do with another pack but I highly highly doubt that you would take that many because two at a time is a thousand milligrams that's a lot um, so I can't imagine taking four thousand milligrams of paracetamol a day but having said that I haven't had the virus so who knows um, well as far as I know I haven't had the virus um, so who knows I did have a little bit of thoughts. Did my daughter have it in December? Did we all have it in December? Who knows? Because we have ne never usually get coughs with colds, ever. So it's possible that we may have had it. I have no idea. There's no way of knowing. But I'm assuming we haven't. Um, so that's why I have our little medicine stash. Okay, food. I've just been doing my normal regular shop. Well, trying to. But I'm finding every week there's issues. So the beloved toilet paper. There was none. Um, I ordered it. There was no nothing, no substitute. Um, my husband found one pack yesterday, um, but that's more than enough because that's absolutely fine. Um, I only wanted one pack. We got one pack. He actually hugged the toilet roll, <laughs> which was funny because <laughs> he was so happy to find it because he'd been to, I think, four shops before he found the pack of toilet roll. We don't usually get this one. We just usually get the luxury soft, not the sheer butter one. This is quite posh toilet roll for us. Uh, we usually our toilet roll is usually three pound thirty five for nine rolls. This was three fifty. Um, so yeah, we got one pack of toilet roll, but we needed it anyway. So this is not a stockpile. We literally had about three rolls left. So yeah, toilet roll. <sighs> Don't even get me started on the toilet paper. It's just insane. Okay, um, flour. No flour anywhere four shots this was what my husband could find <laughs> he said it was the last one on the shelf in the fourth shop that he went to this is um 500 grams bless this little cute flower i mean it's so adorable i can't you know without it's so cute i usually buy a one kilogram bag of self-raising and plain flour and then that usually probably lasts depending on how much i'm baking if i'm doing a lot of baking a week if i'm not doing too much baking two weeks um and we were almost out, but bless its little little bag. <laughs> that was all we could find. I'm laughing. I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm just laughing because it's insane. Um, what are they doing with all the flour? I don't know. Apparently they need all this flour. How did they live without flour? <laughs> um, and then pasta. Oh gosh, don't even get me started on pasta. We always get, depending on um, how many pasta meals, a week usually about two bags i usually just buy the cheap penne from tesco the 20p bags no, no, no um my husband went to two different tescos yesterday no pasta at all shelves completely bare um he went to asda and he said there was one bag of pasta left we, this is this is posh pasta this is this is the organic fusilli <laughs> we don't usually get and it's home meal. we don't usually get organic pasta i mean i'd love to but it's expensive so we 20p penne does us fine um on our budget but yes i have an organic pasta because that was the only thing that was there so one bag of pasta um this is 500 grams as i said usually it's about um uh kilograms so usually buy about two bags for a week so yeah less pasta <laughs> than normal but at least we've got the organic posh pasta <laughs> we're gonna be in for a treat this week with our one bag of pasta oh, it's just crazy so that's everything i've bought in terms of um, medicine, because I think that's you know probably what most people are thinking about, and then the issues we're having with food, it's crazy. I just, I just, I don't want to say people are selfish because I don't think people are inherently selfish. I think people are panicking, and I can understand that completely. But at the same token, you've got to think about what your panicking does and what it generates. So if it generates to the point where there's no food and we're rationed um do you want that and then also because your stockpile will eventually run out it's not gonna last you forever you can't possibly buy enough food that's gonna last you forever at some point you are going to need more food so think about that um and the other thing as well is it is um in terms of you're wanting people to do the right thing by your family it's in terms of if they're sick you want them to stay at home you don't want them to be traipsing around tesco looking for toilet paper because there isn't any on when they've tried to order online so think of that too you know keep some supplies for the people who are sick so that they can get their stuff so they're not coming out contaminating everyone else um but yeah 
I've heard a lot of people say, you know, be informed, don't panic and everything else. And we're not at all panicking, but I, it is very worrying to me because I'm worried about all the people that are going to suffer. And I think there's going to be a lot and that's going to be really tragic. Um, and I also worry about people being silly and making bad choices and how that's going to impact everyone else. And yeah, it's just, it's not fun. I never thought for one second that 2020 would be like this. Um, and the irony of all irony is it's our 10th wedding anniversary this year and we were thinking of going to Venice. Um, and it's just, I'm, I'm not saying, oh, whoa, me, we were thinking of going to Venice. Not, not at all. My point is, that is, that it's gone from that, that to this. With, you know, no one thought that that was going to happen. That's my point of mentioning that is, you know, over Christmas, we're thinking, oh, we should go to Venice, at, you know, for our anniversary. That was what I was thinking of. Um, and from thinking about planning holidays to now thinking about crap. I can't find a bottle of cow pollen in the shop. What if someone gets a fever? To my little baby flower. <laughs> it shows you how nobody knows what's going to happen. Life is very uncertain, which... This has just proven more than ever because nobody anticipated this. Um, maybe we should. I think, to be honest, if anything, this should be a stark wake up to people to not be so reliant on um, other people to make things for them. You know, grow your own food. I mean, that's something that we have. Our, we have some trees in our garden and I can't wait for them to start um, blossoming and everything else because at least we'll have some apples and stuff as long as the birds don't eat them which is a problem which I need to fix um yeah it's, it's a stark wake-up call of how reliant we are um as a society and as a world we don't not like in the olden days where they, you know they used to grow their own food they'd have the chickens for their eggs and everything else but that was a huge diff that was a very different time so it you know it's never, never going to be that way again, but it's just, it does make you think how reliant we are um, and how just one little, well, it's not one little thing because it's huge, but how something can just throw everything into complete turmoil. And my final thought is to everybody who is affected by, by the virus, I'm so, so sorry. And I wish you all the best. And I hope that something good can come out of all this horribleness and nightmare and that you know you can show solidarity with those people and protect those that need protecting and that we can we'll get through this I'm sure we will but not everyone will and that's really that's really saddening but if if there's anything I can do at all let me know we we can't give money obviously um but if there's anything moral support anything please do let me know oh there was one last thing I wanted to mention um, and that's for those people that, well, not for those people, but for anyone who homeschools and, you know, those people that are suddenly finding themselves in that situation. Um, I have one product on Teachers Pay Teachers, my Alice in Wonderland unit study. Um, I wanted to offer it for free, but there's a restriction in one of my clip art pictures that says I can't do that. Um, so I think I'm just going to put it for a pound for a week. Um, so if you want to download it, I wish I could put it for free, but I, I don't want to get into trouble. <laughs> I don't want to get, you know, copyrighted. Um, not copyrighted, but, you know, I don't want to go get um, into trouble for breaching the terms of copyright by selling my product with clip art that's not allowed to be sold for free. So I was thinking of putting it for a pound. I won't make any money out of it at all. So, <laughs> you know, don't think that, um, oh, um, she's doing that because she wants to make some money. I, I won't make anything from it because the teachers pay teachers take a chunk of your money. Um, for my six pound, six dollar sale, I only actually make two dollars and twenty something cents per download. Um, so, for if I if it's listed for a pound, I don't think I make anything. But that's not the point. The point is is that you might want to use it. It'll be fun to do a little Alice in Wonderland unit study, have some reading time together while you're at home, and do some of the fun activities. Um, so yeah, I'll do that and I'll put in the description box below when that's going to start and when it's going to end because I need to just um, figure out how I do that because I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully it's just quite simple. I just log in and change my price but I'll put in the description box below when it's available. And that's everything. Um, take care and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.